Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this 3D bouncing text animation in After Effects. All this without using any third party plugin. So let's begin. Alright, so I am in After Effects and let's begin by creating a new composition. Let's call this main. Width and height will be 1920 by 1080, frame rate 30 fps and duration 10 seconds. After that, we have to change the 3D render in order to use this technique, otherwise this won't work. So make sure to change the render from cin classic 3D to cinema 4D. After that, just click on OK. So now we are ready to add some text. But before that, let me just quickly add our background. So right click solid and I'm going to make this completely red. Just click on OK. Now let's add our text. So select the text tool. Just click. So it's completely up to you. You can type whatever you want. For this example, I'm going to type bounce and we are going to do this by typing single character. So I'm going to type B first and after that we will duplicate this and create the rest of the characters. So I'm using this Montserrat black font. Again, it's completely up to you to pick whatever font you want. But this technique looks best if you have a bold font. So now once we are done with this, let me just quickly select this and I'm going to scale this up something like this. Let's move its anchor point to the center so you can select the layer, hold down the control key and let's select the pan anchor tool. Now we can move this to the center. Let's select this and I'm going to align this to the middle of this composition just like this. Now we can make this 3D by clicking on this option and we are ready to add some text animation to this. So for that, let's open this up and we are going to animate this. But first, let's enable this enable per character 3D. Now we are going to animate it using the animation properties. So for that, let's close this transform and let's open up the text. Now I'm going to animate and let's animate the position. After that, we can animate it using this parameter. But first, let me just quickly create a camera so that you can see what we are doing. Let's create a camera. Just click on OK. I'm going to select the rotation tool and just click and rotate your camera to an angle so that you can see what we are doing. Now we have our character and I'm going to animate it using this slider. So I'm going to animate it along the Z axis. So let's place it somewhere around 150. So if this is too fast, then you can set this to 100. Now we can animate it using the range selector. So let's add a keyframe for start. And let's move to somewhere around one second and let's set this to 100 so that you can see that our character is moving just like that and let's go to two seconds and i'm going to copy the first keyframe and paste it so that it goes back to its original position now our next step is to add some 3d depth to this so in order to do that we can simply enable the extrusion so if you go under the text you can see we have this option called geometry let me just quickly open this up and over here we have the extrusion depth so we are going to play with this and let me just quickly go to the beginning so i want the extrusion to be at zero and at this point i want the extrusion value to be exactly this value which we have in the text animation which is 100 so i'm going to set this to 100 over here and let's go back to the ending and i'm going to just change this back to zero so make sure that this value of extrusion and position are same so we have 100 over here and 100 over here as well so if i play back here you can see we have this 3d depth and basically what is happening is our character is moving in the z space as well as it is extruding so that's why we are getting this kind of effect now let's add some color to this front so for that we are going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate this and on this one we are going to remove the geometry so let's open this up and let's set this bevel to zero and after that we are going to change its color to white so let's select this and i'm going to set this to white again it's completely up to you. you can pick whatever you want so now you can see we have this very nice reveal but i want the colors to be opposite i want this text to be black so i'm going to set this to black and let me just quickly select this one and i'm going to set this to white so now you can see we have this very nice animation just like that so now we are done with our character now let me just quickly select both of the layers press u and i'm going to select all the keyframes press f9 to easy ease them or you can right click go to keyframe assistant easy ease after that make sure all the keyframes are selected let's go to the graph editor and we are going to change the graph so first let me just quickly scale this in now i'm going to select this point 
and let's move this to all the way over here now let's select this endpoint and i'm going to move it all the way to this side let's select this one and i'm going to do the same thing but in the opposite direction so let's move it to this side and let's select this and i'm going to place it to the very edge so here you can see we have this very nice bouncing effect now once you are done with this we are ready to add more characters so for that i'm going to quickly hide my camera so that we have the front view now let's select the text tool and i'm going to quickly type bounce so that we can see what we are doing and let's place this to the center also i'm going to just move its anchor point to the center as well just like that let me just quickly scale this up so that it matches the b and now we can place this to the bottom and now we can select both the characters and let me just quickly select the selection tool now we can move them and let's place it where we have our b just like that so this is only acting as a reference so that we perfectly align our letters now i'm going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate them and let's move them to the top i'm just quickly change its color so i'm going to make this yellow and let's type o let's type over here as well now we can select both of them and we can move this to this o again now let's select the o's and press ctrl d and let's move this to the top again let's change the color and now we are going to type u so just change the letter to both the characters let's place the u at its position just keep on doing this for all the characters so now i have created all the characters and now we can enable our camera and let me just quickly select the reference layer and i'm going to delete this now i'm going to select the move camera tool and let's move it to somewhere around here so now if i play back here you can see we have this very nice bouncing animation and now we can add some offset to these so that these comes one after other so let me just quickly select all of these layers except the b and i'm going to go to the very beginning and let's zoom in and i'm going to move all the layers two frames ahead and after that let's select all the other top layers and let's move them two frames ahead as well let's do the same thing with these ones just keep them offsetting by two frames just like that now we have all the characters but we also want them to be visible in the beginning so we can select all of them and let's extend their starting point so now you can see we have all the characters visible just like that now we can select all of them press u to see all the keyframes and we can increase their speed by simply selecting all the keyframes so just make sure to select all the keyframes and after that hold on the alt key or option key if you are on mac then select the very top keyframe and now you can move this and you can see that the distance between the keyframes will change and this will make your animation much faster so there you go now you have created this very nice animation now we can go to the very end somewhere around here and we can probably trim the layer so you can hold on the alt key and press the right square bracket so that it will trim all the layers after that make sure to select all the layers except the camera and the red solid then you can right click pre-compose let's call this text and just click on ok now you can see we have our layer and let me just quickly select this and press alt and left square bracket so that it will trim the beginning as well now we can enable the collapse transformation from here and you can see that our text is right over here again you can select the camera tool and you can play around with its position you can make this however you want you can select whatever angle you like so i think this is looking fine let's change its position you can also zoom out a little bit just like that so once you're happy with your angle we are ready to add some stroke to this so in order to do that just select the text layer right click and after that go to layer style and we can enable the stroke and let's go under the stroke option first i'm going to change the color so let's make this black and after that you can increase the size to whatever you want so let's set this to 5 so yeah this is looking fine now once you're done with this you can play around with the speed of the animation by simply selecting the layer and right click go to time 
and now you can play around with the speed so you can enable the time stretch and i'm going to set this to 150 so now if i play back here you can see we have this animation and in order to make this keep on going you can select this layer press ctrl d and after that just move this to the end just like this and again press ctrl d just keep on doing this until the whole duration is covered so now if i play back here you can see we have this very nice bouncing animation now there is one more thing that you can do you can add a light source so let me just quickly go to layer new light and let's make this a point light just click on ok now you can see that it will add some very nice shading and let's place this at the bottom now you can play around with its position to whatever you think looks good and i'm going to make this somewhere around here and we can select this press a a and let's increase its intensity so that it's a lot brighter just like this now we can select this press ctrl d to duplicate this and i'm going to move this to the top and let's place it somewhere around here as well so if i play back here you can see we have this really nice shading in our characters so if you want to go with this look then it's completely up to you but if you don't want this then you can just simply get rid of all of these lights and now you have your animation so this is how you can create these kind of bouncing text animation and the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you are supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you are not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon if you have any queries or questions then you can ask in the comments below so that's it for this tutorial my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one <music>